What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I'd like to welcome you guys to my let's play of Dead Secret Circle. This is the sequel to the original Dead Secret that I did a let's play on two years ago. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Not the longest game on the planet, but it provided quite a few scares. It was like a thriller mystery game. Uh, I ended up making the video in, or like it was one single video just because of its length. I got all the endings and all that good stuff. But this game, the sequel, is actually a bit longer. I've been told it's anywhere from 10 to 13 hours, or 10 to 12 hours rather, uh, depending on how quickly you can finish it. Um, for the main story, and then if you want to do 100% everything, it's about 15 hours. That's what the devs told me. So, uh, this is an early access build to preview build. The game isn't out yet. Uh, so, I've been actually able to play this game since the 27th, but uh, there was issues with my build. So, we've been sorting it out, as I mentioned in the game update. But we're ready to rock and roll with this, and I'm super excited. Hope you guys are as well. And if you're ready to rock and roll with some face cam action on YouTube, believe it or not, be sure to slap that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's jump into Dead Secret Circle. All right, here we go. Starting up in an elevator. Oh, whoops, my bad. There we go. I remember this, like in the in the previous game, you couldn't manually walk. Like you had to. Uh... Hello. Hi. Oh god, right, right click doesn't do anything, I'm sorry. You're not getting me, bro. You're not Hello. doing it. Hello. Start throwing these things to the side. Not gonna, oh, uh, hello. Is she holding a bag or something? Is that a Louis Vuitton bag that she's got? Like, oh, it's her flashlight. Like, what's going on here? It's best not to look too far down. Is anybody up here? Clearly. The hell is that? Who's there? Hi. <laughs> that actually didn't get me like it was supposed I to. I used to worry about nightmares in my sleep. Now I'm more afraid of being awake. Five years ago, Josie Herrera was altered by an experimental machine. The Lunar Dream Apparatus was designed to pry open the mind at every full moon, letting the unconscious flow in. The only other person to meet the machine before Josie destroyed it was me. Now my waking hours are haunted by dreams, showing me things I don't want to see over and over, round and round. This nightmare is endless, like a circle. But cycles can be broken. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go take a nap first. Just kidding, let's let's go. Alright, what? Relax. He hightailed it. Photo of the apartment building. Put photo evidence on board. Thank you. Okay, where's the board at? This must be it. There you go. The photo goes up on the board. This photo has an address and seek the laughing man written on the back. Could it be connected to the laughing man killings? The guy we the guy who was in the well, I don't think we were playing as who we were, you know, playing as. We were playing as somebody else who I think might have died. Gather files on the Laughing Man killings. I remember that. We ended up, the best ending, we ended up saving her, I remember. You can, she gets stuck under some fire. Like a, fi a burning board.
I remember that. I mean, it's been like two years since I played the game, but I do recall that. Anything on the laughing man? Conrad Veidt. Club Dancer. Okay, what else we got? So trying to find files on... Cool, alright. You know, it'd be nice if you could move a little bit quicker than this. Just saying. Mom! Bathroom! Wait, why would you have a file in the bathroom? Oh, he's really old. Strangled and his cheeks were slashed. Well... Hi. <laughs> I don't trust that that, that crazy bitch in the, in the mask is gonna be somewhere, you know? But if she was looking at, uh, yeah, see, this file's like, Deborah Swan. God, these are violent. Jim Grip. That was that. So he's been putting, cutting smiles into their faces. Well, we have been. The mask. Oh, wait, no, let me look at it again. Josie's mask from the woodcutter case. That's creepy, girl. Target it. What are you doing? Alright, let's go. So should we sit down at the table and kind of analyze? Or, okay, thank you. There you go. There must be a pattern here. Choose the murders committed by the laughing man. Alright, swan. Th throat and face cut. Circle of blood around chair. Nurse. Hold on. Circle on forehead. Stabbed in the neck and face. Strangled mouth cut. Circle on floor. Shopkeeper. Stabbed death. Cocaine circle in bathroom. Dancer. Uh, what's this one? Wrist slit. Cuts to mouth. Aren't they, like, mostly... Okay. Can I read the... Oh, can I read the files again? Alright, documents. Personal files. So well, that's of her, right? Yeah. What's the miscellaneous case files? That's probably what you just have to do. So we gotta connect which ones are his. But hold on a second. All right. Stab in the neck and face. Circle on forehead. Small time crook. See this one, face, throat and face cut. Wrist slit cuts the mouth, right? The mouth cuts is what we want. Right? Circle on a playing card. Circle on a floor. Yeah, there you go. So they're just the ones with the cut open mouths. Better get to bed before the moon comes out. Why? Okay. Go to bed. <laughs> That's an easy objective. There we go. Done. <laughs> Investigate the apartment. Dear Dr. Hathaway, I've been trying to record my thoughts, like you suggested. Easier this way, I guess. I want to get better. Stop feeling this way. So I took your advice, and I'm working on something. They're calling it the Laughing Man Murders. It's this big puzzle, but I think I just found an important piece. All 
All right, what what's up with this apartment? Why is it all purple? All right, it's not. Coben Cola, very cute. Not all of this stuff is pertinent. It's locked. It like comes into vision as you get closer to it. That's kind of creepy. Ah, the mask. Look at that, hey. How could the stairs be under the repair? Usually it's the elevator under repair. Where you going, dude? That's the elevator, is it not? So, I thought the stairs were under repair. Unless that's just to the basement. What, ha what happened if the elevator didn't work? How was anybody gonna get in the basement? Or what if somebody in the basement was trapped when the stairs were under repair? You know, never think about that. So you remember this room? Remember, see, remember these numbers? This was definitely the, uh, the place. What the fuck? Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm running. But this is as fast as you can go. What just happened? I'm like half confused. I'm gonna hide in here. Take a dump. Hi. Well, I'm dead. That clearly didn't work. Jesus H. Holy hell! I got wrecked. So where can I go? That I don't think that's gonna work. Out here. Really? By the window? You're giving up we were given options last time, remember in the last game, and I jumped out the window and that was the best course of action? Oh my god! <laughs> See his razor blades, bro. Yeah, don't think to look behind the... <laughs> don't look behind that. No, she can't be there. Is he tripping out? I don't know what's going on with this dude. Well, you're not going to speak? Oh, I didn't read that. Getting out looking for leads feels foreign, like a skin I haven't worn in a, in a while. The fear is still there, around the corner, out of sight, but at least now I can pretend I'm still a reporter, working a beat, writing a story. Just have to make... Sure, I'm home before dark. One more thing. I had this weird dream last night. It's hazy, but I was being chased by this really tall man. I guess you'd say it represents some sort of repressed trauma. I sound like I'm having trouble reading, but it's just <laughs> repressed trauma. But it didn't feel like that. More like real. <laughs> So, wait a minute, so that, we weren't actually in there. Wait, what? Only half the mailboxes have names. Alright, so we don't know who lives where. This is the building, so this is the actual building now. might need that. 
See, I don't have the mask on. That's so when it seemed purple, that was for a reason. I'm assuming we gotta use the crowbar. I didn't read it. It disappeared. I'll never about to What was that about? Talk about how you smoke. What's this? Curious clock tower. Holy hell, I'm not reading that. I'll just hold on to it. I mean, this building's been condemned, obviously. Wait a minute. Someone's been here. Someone's been smoking. Maybe it's the laughing man. Can't really laugh that well, though. He'd be like, ah ha ha. Oh, fuck, dude. You startled me. Hi. Can't you read the signs? Buildings closed. Look, Missy. You're not supposed to be here. I don't fix this elevator. I'll never hear end of it. Oh, you're the Ask elevator repairman. Stop bothering me. A few, yeah. Folks can't afford to live anywhere else. What's it to you? Well, murders, fam jam. Um. Oh yeah? Who? Sorry, sweets, but you don't look the type. Let's try it. A reporter? For who? Woman's Weekly? Listen, what a person. dick, but I guess it's 71. To ourselves, all right? Now get out of here. I'm busy. I was fixing this elevator, then you come along and start shutting me up. Look, you want to be useful? Go and find Wrench. It's got to be around here somewhere. I've got it. Listen, doll. Stop calling me that. Someone else. There, you, you got it. Okay, I don't need to inspect a wrench. Well, look at that. She does know what the wrench looks like. What an asshole! All right, all right, I give. What's on your mind, doll? Why? You gonna call the cops? Look, we don't need any extra attention at the moment. Know what I mean? That's fascinating. But I gotta get lunch. Now, if you'll excuse me. So I get you your wrench. You be super sexist. And then you don't give me anything in return? What a prick. Edmund. Edmund Pirzbilski. <laughs> don't go putting my name in no paper now, darling. Oh, I'm going to. And how much of a douche you've been. Don't don't thank him. He didn't give you anything. Whatever. See? At least she's professional, though. Superintendent kind of sour. More like salty. Get your bitch ass out of here. Don't let me see you here again. All right, let's go upstairs. Wait a minute, can we go underneath? Yes, we can. Ooh, hashtag tape. Ethnogyosha, seventh century mystic, founded a religion known as Shugendo by mixing bits of other beliefs with an emphasis on mountain worship. Shugendo followers build their temples in nearly unreachable locations. The structure itself is only a symbol. The meaning is in the climb. There is no understanding without suffering. Okay. Is that all she wrote? Good God! <laughs> Alright, let's head upstairs. We know that she was on the, that first lady in the first bit, whatever dream it was. It was like the third floor, wasn't it? Because we saw her go past two. Now this is where, but there's a garbage, damn, foiled by the garbage can again. Investigate second floor. All right, let's do it. There's the elevator again. 201. No dice. Okay. 
Yes? Oh! You live here. Hi. Do you have a moment? Sorry, miss, but I'm not interested in buying anything. I don't want to sell anything. Oh? And who might that be? This guy looks really creepy. He looks like a child rapist. Really? Intriguing. I was just making tea. Why not come inside and you can tell me more? How is that intriguing? You just said I'm not sure. What are you talking about? Honestly, the dude was talking about how, like, crappy these places were. They're really not that bad. They're actually pretty large. Hi. Dude, what's with your face? What's your name, miss? Jesus. Let's go Patricia. first. Patricia. God, he's creepy. Okay, just Patricia. What brings you here? A reporter. I suppose I should have guessed that. I'm a writer myself. God, his face. Who are you with? As am I. But I get the sense you didn't choose to go it alone, hmm? Tell me, what did you do before <laughs> going freelance? Dude, what's on his face? Like, I don't understand. You're just scaring me. Ah, uh, yes. Running with the big boys. And then? Uh, uh, I don't like stress? talking to him. I don't like talking to him. Oh, there's not a really a good answer. Let's say the simple thing. Sorry, hold that thought. The water's boiling. One moment while I make the tea. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> the animations are so scary. Oh my God. Oh, that was great. It's like, one minute while I make the tea. Oh my Lord. Oh god, he's got a gun! Shit, I think I was supposed to peace. Now, where were we? God damn, look at that face! You'll see that in your horror, like your nightmares. Jesus Christ! How rude of me. My name is Bram Halloran. Perhaps you've heard of me. I've been published in the New Yorker, Reader's Digest, and Playboy. Culture, mostly. I'm interested in how the most fascinating stories can come from the most unremarkable people. And at the moment, I'm interested in you. What's your story? What an asshole. God, I hate his face! Can't say that I have. Let me guess. His puns are killer. <laughs> Reminds me of a comedian I saw at Coney Island once. <laughs> <laughs> Gruesome. Why do these lunatics always need some shtick? Garden variety murders too mundane. That's America for you. Nothing's ever simple. Not even the killers. Yes. Listen, Patricia. There's no killer here. Just a bunch of folks down on their luck. Uh, I think his face is giving away his, like... Look at his face, you guys! It's just so disturbing. I haven't. But my neighbor Rose mentioned seeing a stranger about a week ago. Wondered who'd go wearing a raincoat in such nasty weather. About a week ago, a week ago. Like a long slicker. Too cold for this time of year. You might ask Rose about it. All right. The nice old Chinese woman in 302. Now you'll have to excuse me. I should get back to work. It was lovely talking with you, Patricia. Good luck catching your psycho killer. God, the faster I can get out of this. Goodbye, Patricia. God, that guy is so creepy. Likes to talk. Saw someone suspicious a week ago. Was she seen by Rose? 
All right, so they want me to talk to Rose. Is there anybody else I could, like, anything I could check out on this floor? Nice mustache, bro. Damn. Wait, how many? There's two, two pictures by him. What? Chicken butt. It's polite to introduce yourself first, you know. Oh, for God's sake. That's so retarded. No one would ever say that. Janet, what's this about? Do you have any dank memes? Avon <laughs> <Aim> lady. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't talk to the press. Goodbye. Wait. Damn, I should have said Avon lady. That would have been hilarious. Another tape. There are no shortcuts. Because there is no path. The freeing path of traveling. It exists only at our heels. No shortcuts. No detours either. It's the ascent up the mountain. Not its peak that matters. Destination is pointless. Shugando. Thanks. Dr. Hathaway, I'm definitely on to something. These people, they're not killers, but they're hiding something. The whole place practically. Shimmers. See, like, it takes too long for this thing to load. But if you click it, it fills the whole thing and then moves on to the next statement. Shimmers with sequence. It's getting dark, but I'll be back tomorrow. Oh. Oh, you gotta do one thing at a time. Ah, the laughing man waits in the shadows. Now to get all the evidence on the board. I met a man by the stairs today. What was his name again? It was Edmund. It was Esmond. 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 I also met Bram. What's his occupation? He's a writer. How can you not remember that? More than a little smug. And his face gave me like AIDS. I also spoke to a woman on the second floor. Her name was Janet. Well, I, I like how they have stuff like this. This is pretty neato burrito, ka. We gotta find out more intel on these people. We didn't even know her last name. We should have said Avon lady, but uh, you know. Should we go to bed then? Thank you. I don't really care, thank you. There's another victim that's talking about Zhang. You remember this? I remember that. It was part of like a puzzle. Marks full months since I stopped smoking. Oh, congratulations. Um Okay. Ding, but daddy ding, but daddy ding, but daddy ding, but <laughs> Well, it's going to go take a quick shit and we'll go to bed. Did she not take her bag off ever? <laughs> oh man, as long as I don't have to talk to what's his nuts again, I'll be okay. <laughs> My question is why was all of these files like thrown about? You know? And why would you keep that creepy ass mask in your closet? I sure as shit wouldn't. I can't even go by there. Oh, you have a time frame, and once the moon goes full. She, oh, God, not again. Day two. We're on the third floor this time. I see you. I'm guessing we have to follow Homeboy. 
Hi. Oh, I'm so old. Unless that was one of the victims. It could be one of the victims that he's trying to show me something. See, this is Zhang. This must be Zhang's place. Oh, this is Rose. This has to be Rose's place, yeah. Lady, you're dreaming. Of a white Christmas. See, this is how you know this is Rose's place. The sweet Chinese lady. Hello? Okay, hold on. This way first. Uh, see, I don't know why it cuts it off like that. I'm not gonna lie. Exit the monkey. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This place is super cliche. Oh, she growing some kush? No wonder she's able to live so old. She's got that finest. Who are you, bitch? Oh, that didn't work. I was trying to turn and get... So there's two devils. I remember these masks. I thought this guy was something else for a second. Just gonna turn around. We're good. No, you can't well, run either, guy. Why you do that? You should hide that key. You might want to come back. Right here? Really, you ought to hide that key. Does it matter where? There you go. So by the right... Who is that guy? He's like you, Morgan Freeman Dear or Dr. something. Hathaway, the dreams are getting stranger. I'm walking the halls of that apartment building and I know I went into number 302, but I can't remember the rest. It's so vivid, like I was really there. I know I told you about the dreams I had before, about the woodcutter case, what it did to me. Dreams are like when your subconscious takes the stage, shines a light on, whatever binds it all together. I know better than to ignore them, but still, this one felt different. Today I'll track down the rest of the people living in that apartment, and then I'll find a way into 302. Sounds good. Alright, next set. Oh. That's wild. So wait a minute. What's the uh, what's the objectives again? Investigate third floor. Talk to Rose. Okay, so third floor. Everything's knocked on the ground. Close the door. For God's sake, no one cares about your past. It's a ghost. Yeah, right. I extremely doubt she only has that. I was delighted by your article, Skin to Skin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is she was a writer as well? Pulp film with such thorough understanding of the cinematic arts. Just of outrageous. So was she writing a screen? She must be into, like, films, obviously, if she has tons of posters up. Wait a minute. Love the thrill of sex, the excitement of gore. They are not, however, the sort of readers that are likely to grasp a referent reference to Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. That's it. Dostoevsky. Shorter, simpler words to get your point across. So he liked it. So that's good. We're collecting all these books. Okay. Plants, plants, and more plants. Hello? Wait a minute. Wait a second. 
In my early preview build, ladies and gentlemen, I was I gave this a try and I heard Cantonese. I thought the game was glitched out, but now I realize that girl that that lady that we that that we were in in the first scene, the first thing we saw of the game, we were playing as Rose. I can almost promise you. What do we got here? Can't read it. Anything else? What's that? You see that? Now we can go past the door though, so maybe if we go back in the corner we can find something else. Because it was, it was cut off because we couldn't get behind it. The, this is funny because that's like the same... Uh, Uh, whatchamacallit? What's that? So you see all these exclamation points and you don't know what they're pointing at. Probably this. Her bedroom. That's her there. <laughs> Playing cards. Wait. Yeah, I know what it is. The key, the fork that I found, yeah? Maybe? Another one. Kung Fu in the USA. Alright, let's see what's in this room here. Safe. L, left, right, left. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, can I see that again? I know, I, I get it. That's funny. Watch this. Check it. Check this out. Check it. Check it, check it, check it. So, there's three vases, remember? So, if we look under each vase... Wait, that, well, I see two. I think the third one might be in the kitchen. Hold well, let me look at my notes. So, the tall one is left. The tallest one... Okay, that's fine. Whatever. This one there, that's going to be the left one. So if we move it. Can we rotate it or something? There, stop. 30. This is the middle one, right? Thirty, fifty, And then the last one. Oh, check it out. Here it is. How do we move that? There you go. It was. Why would you put that there? It makes no sense. Why would you hide it behind nothing? Of course it's 30, 50, 20. Let's just go ahead and assume that. What are the odds of a safe combination being... Ooh, that was a bit startling. Don't hurt me, please. I'm just checking on Rose. This is just stuff. Just looting. I'm just looting. Can I wait? How do you do it? What is it? 30? 30? 50? And then 20. Got him! There we go. Get the room key. And money! Just take it. She's dead. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds pretty fucked. What about this, though? Let me use the gardening fork. I know it, but it's probably not what it is, but it's worth a try. No. So let's use the key. Please, Mr. Mass Man, Mr. Laughing. Ah, 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 man, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. 
there. Wait, what was that? It said something. Oh, it's a clue thing. Okay, well, let's grab this. A page with random numbers. All right, well, first things first. What's this? A closet with a trunk in it. All right, so there's an order. Don't spin it. So, three, one. So, one, one, one. Right? I, I'm a bit confused how this works. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. I think I just found something. Use the gardening fork. Ah, the gold medallion. Okay, that's where that is. So what's up with the boxes then? Maybe the gold medallion will tell us something. Because I've had no luck getting into that chest. I can't seem to figure out a combo or anything. So. Let's try it out. Ah. Let's do this. Okay, maybe that's what was going on. Let's uh, combine with this. There you go. Okay, I get it now. So it is like a code. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a code, right? But they were. It was mix, mix matched, mismatched. So I had to combine them. So that's why I was doing it wrong. So what we're gonna do then is do this. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Just so I don't have to quit it. So that way I know which way to open the door. Or open each drawer. So there you go. Take a picture. Now I can look at it without having to go back. So one. So this one. Let's go a little bit closer. Just so I don't cheese it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I did that last time. It says... Zhang is dead. Vite is dead. Someone is cleaning up down Chinatown. You're next on their list. They know about your deal with Hubert Crane. They know about Colm Halloran. Your life is in danger. What about what happened with Colm Halloran? Wait a minute, Halloran. That's the writer, right? Life's in danger. Meet me in the fourth floor of your building on Monday. Come alone. Damn. So Rose can't be talked to. Well, we got that. All right, cool. I have a feeling we're, something's going to be waiting for us outside. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, come on, man. Just thank you. Apartment was wrecked. We're still, we still got to search this floor. Hi. Are we having fun? What? I said, are you having fun? This playing detective. It's cute. Did you take some notes? He's an asshole. Yeah? A real Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Look, take your little paw, then park that cute little tail of yours somewhere else. We don't need you. Poking around. Listen, sweetie. Just because everyone's got skeleton in the closet doesn't mean they want to talk about it. These folks have enough problems already. They don't need yours. Come springtime, this place won't even be here. It's condemned, Missy. Only thing keeps it from getting knocked down tomorrow's the snow. 
Nobody stays here because they want to. They all got their issues. Janet's got the kid, the cranes, maybe laying low, know what I mean? Colm Halloran's real sick, the kind you don't get better from. Only one's got it together around here is Rose. Nice old lady, sharp. Used to work in Chinatown. One of those herbal doctor joints. You see her headed out to movies a couple times a week. She likes her movies. Listen, Sugar, we don't need your charity. Go on, get out of here. He's really dismissive. Go on, get out of here. Blow me, dude. I tried to check to see if she was okay. These must be the cranes. Why, hello. Jesus Christ, she's frightening. Come here, Hubie. We have our guests. Dude, they're so pale. Patricia. Oh, such a lovely she name. She looks like a ghoul, bro. I had an aunt named Patricia. I was a Phyllis. That may have been Hubert's aunt, if we're being honest. I never can remember. But anyway, neither here nor there. I was just saying how long it's been since our last proper guest. It's going to be a bit longer. I'm going to leave now. Not at all. Not at all. It's lovely, lovely to meet you, Patricia. Saints alive. I seem to have misplaced my manners. I'm Harriet. And this handsome young buck is Hubert. As you can see, we're two peas in a pod. Two ghouls more like it. Of course, dear. Now what's on your mind? Why do you look like a ghoul? That's my Ask first question. Anything. I just did. Well, sure. She's our neighbor. She's getting on in years, but quite good-natured for an Oriental, if you know what I mean. That's racist, but it's the 70s. I gotta remember that. It's the 70s. Shit went on. Well, you know, she used to work over in Chinatown, but now she's retired. She's mostly down at the cinema. God knows why. Nothing down there but filthy pornographic trash. <laughs> oh, heavens, she adores. Adores them. It's all she talks about. Goes every week, rain or shine. She even put up posters, all her favorites. Between you and me, I don't know what that woman sees in that filth. But I guess it's not easy for us regular folks understanding the foreigners. God damn, I don't like these people. Let's see. Last time I saw Rose was. Just over a week ago? About a week ago, a week to ago. Drop off some of that lovely lemongrass she grows. Hubert's request for our next batch of elixir. Elixir? You think that's a normal thing to go around telling people you cook? Bram's in the unit just below us. Such a lovely man. Helps out when Hubert's car won't start. And he takes such good care of his brother. Though I get the feeling he's hiding something, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Have you seen his face? He's scarier than you. Oh, Colum. He lives downstairs with his brother. Very sick. Something awful. You used to see him hobbling around, but he's bedridden now. Hooked up to all these ghastly machines. Bram moved in last year to look after him. My heart just aches for them both. Oh, I don't know. Just a feeling, really. But I get the sense he's got his share of secrets. Just a woman's intuition, mind you. Oh, God. This lady's cringy. The Negro? Oh, I said... Jesus the Christ! Or the brat. She's a gangster, I tell you. A hoodlum. A threat to society. We try to have nothing to do with her. That's so racist. My God. It's not what she does, it's her her presence. The nerve to complain about noise. She threatened us, if you can believe that. No, I can't even acknowledge her. But she lives over the fuck there. How would she complain about noise? You're over here, she's way down there and below. You wouldn't hear shit. Don't, it's bullshit. What about the no, elixir? Patricia, no, I wanted to ask about the elixir. Yours. 
It's just been a ball in the park talking to you today. God, are they high? To live. Dude. Wait, uh, extremely talk. Look at that face. It's even worse. Fuck. Feuding with Harriet. Has a bedridden brother. So we're finding out more info. Inf can I? Okay. What the fuck was that? That actually startled me a little bit. Dr. Hathaway. Woo! Too. <laughs> it, it was the same. Just like in my dream. I mean, it was trashed, but definitely the same place. How is that possible? I've never been there before. Are my dreams showing me the future? Did I tell you about the idiofocal goggles from the woodcutter case? Right, I remember that. They're like a shortcut to idiofocus, a peephole into the subconscious, or a mainline into my nightmares. But I don't have a choice. I need them to solve this case. If I'm really dreaming of the future, the goggles will help me see it. Sorry, one last thing. I found something. A tape. There's a term I don't know. Ikuryu. Sounds like Japanese. Ikuru. I'll look it up later. Ikuru. Gotta get home. Woo! All right, while well, we home. Good lord. Dude, I think these people's faces are scaring me more than anything. Wait. Find the idea focal goggles. Research and keep it. Alright. Formal diagnosis. You have an you you do not have an irrational fear of the moon. You on the other hand perceive fully material visual hallucinations. That's the doc. More intel about ourselves. Oh, let's put some shit up on the board, doggies. All right, I saw a room in my dream, but when I went there, it was wrecked. Who lived there? I am worth. Look at that. Rose is missing. What? Where could she be? I think Rose is her tie. What was her profession? No, she was an acupuncturist, wasn't she? And then she retired. Oh. Attorney. I thought she worked at the sh I Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought that was... I thought she did something else. Maybe not. Who is Rose's client? Uh, a man named Zhang? No. Did I miss something? Hubert? What I find in Rose's apartment? Cassette tape, what we did. I am cancer. It's got to be a cassette tape because all the other ones are talking smack about themselves. What's going on with this chick? She has like mental issues. Talks about it. All right. Um, is there anything in here that we can find about Ikiru? Ikira? Ik Ik Ikirau? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Ika Ik Ikaru. Ikariu. I think it's Ikariu. Something like that. Alright. I don't watch TV anymore. It just feels vapid and soulless. Is there a book here? Let's check the books. The Silver Draw... draw dr the crystal Cave. I remember that. Are these all his books? He writes horror novels. Which is pretty cool.
What's this one? Modern Japanese mysticisms. Here we go. Living ghosts. Wait, did I see something about? No. Oh, wait, Shinaru. See also. That's what we want. Oh, Ikuru. Sorry. Alright, where are the glasses, dude? Where would she have kept them? Titanic, look at that. No, sorry. What the hell? The mask is gone. Of course it is. Are they going to scare me? Found the goggles. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this shit, dude. Seek the laughing man. Quit. Quit seeking the laughing man? Seek the laughing man. Failure, failure. Just... Hold on. Close this damn door so I can read it. Just die. Quit. Give up. You don't deserve it. He'll kill again. The guy's gone. You were nothing. Look at this. There he is again. I'll oh, check it out. Forgot about these things. He smiles under. So yeah, you gotta follow the uh, the footprints. What's this? He's gone. What was it? Right, Jesus, that's creepy. Are we good? They got they gotta to talk to Rose. Can I phone her? <laughs> hey Rose, how's it going? You wanna come down? Can I go to bed now? I probably can go to bed now. Let's try and phone her though. <laughs> I'm assuming we can do that. There's still too many answer questions. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. Cool. How am I now? Oh, I've been here before. Let's just stay on the path. You remember this when we jumped out the window? We were like, we we were far away from the from the house, or sort of far away. I hate that it's so slow. You know, like you can't run. This is fast. You can go. Maybe we'll get there in a year. I can't equip the uh, the goggles right now. Wait a minute. that statue it just happened oh dear dr. Hathaway I don't know what to think each night oh come on why do you do that let me read it 
Josie's Herrera's mask. Josie Herrera's mask from the woodcutter case. It's gone. Not only that, I found another one of those strange tapes. Someone's been in my my place. Today I'm finding some way into one of the apartments. Investigate Bram's apartment. We still gotta talk to Rose. It's January 9th though. I love like do not enter, but everyone's still living here. Oh, we did have their name. That's how we had our name. Homeboy lives in 101. Rose Chan and the office is A. So there's two apartments. So is there only like some floors only have two, like two. See that 202, 203. And then 301, 302, 303. So these ones have three. These ones only have two. 101, there's only one apartment there, so. See, look at that guy. He's pointing where I need to go. Do you see that? That is kind of creepy. I'll never, I don't think I'll be able to get over this guy. Homeboy's in the office. Oh, I thought it said something on it. Well, we're going in the office now. Hi. It's me again. He sleeps right here? You? Again? No one ever teach you to knock. Not when you're rude. Yeah, well, get in line, toots. Everybody needs help today. Harriet's got leaky faucet, Janet's fridge is kaput. And Bram called three times to see if the postman's come yet. Now you barge in here with... with something and you don't even live here. Yeah, from some magazine he sends articles to. So he's got a mailbox, same as everyone else. Who cares? No, but he sure as hell has mine. I swear, he calls again and telling him to go and get that damn thing from the post office himself. Whoa, we got a we got a badass over here. So what you want, anyhow? Um. Oh, we had a dream about it, didn't we? Oh, we gotta get rid of him. Yeah, it does that. I'll get to it. Maybe next week. Damn. Scrap. We needed him out of here. So we had to say the right thing to get him out of the office. Hi. <laughs> I thought I told you to scrum. Take a hike, will ya? So what you want, anyhow? Yeah, what else is new? Happens every winter. So you're the worst, like, now caretaker scrum. ever. So I guess the only thing is... Gotta keep going. Oh wait, no, 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 I forgot. Sorry, it's not either of those things. He... Janet's kid's missing. I thought I told you to scrum. Big <laughs> hike, will ya? Big hike, so will ya? Anyhow. Christ's sakes, probably got out of the room again. Last time, he's about to break his neck on the stairs. Better go check he ain't stuck or nothing. Kids, yuck. Yeah, you better go do that. At least they walk really slow, hey? I wonder how much time you have here. Oh, there's a lockbox. Number two. I know what that means. So hold up. Check it. We go back to this. 
There we go. We gotta find other goodies. Two hundred two is vacant. The super. That gives us a proper idea. Fatally framed. It's like books. It's a collectible in this game. Gotta be something. Emin, thank you for coming out last week. The noises in my bedroom ceiling are getting worse, and I'm not. Star and I'm starting to think it's not an animal after all. I think it's Harriet. Jesus. Was this from Janet? Yeah. Good lord. This calendar is a month out of the date. Maybe Evan likes the picture. It's circled though. The 28th circled. December 28th. That's Is that the current date? No, it's January, isn't it? Yeah, it's January 9th right now. There's gotta be something in here, guys. Emergency contact info. Halloran, right? I wonder how long I have in here. This one's fairly new. Why? What kind of wild goose game are you playing? Janice kid ain't missing. Get out of my office. Damn it. So what does that mean? Or did I see it? Wait a minute, maybe I do have his number. Hold on. Documents, right? Yeah. Not the profile, but... Damn it! I saw the name in the corner, but I thought it would save your documents. Hold on. Oh, maybe it's Edmund's files, right? Yeah, right here. All right, Halloran, right? Let's try that. Let's try 555 Yes. Hello, Mr. Holleran. I'm calling from the 4th Street Post Office. There's a package here you need to sign for. It's about goddamn time. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for you cretins to call? I'll be right there. That was really rude. What if mountain worship isn't actually about the mountain? What if Shugendo and practices like it were meant to train the brain to help bridge the wall between the conscious and the subconscious? Now they have a lot of information on EDO focusing and the EDO goggles. So now we now he's out, so we should be able to slither up. Oh my god. I know why you're here. Look, it's Patricia, right? You can drop the act. I know what you're looking for. The mountain reaches to the moon. 
Yeah, you know. Glowing disc up in the sky. Big mountain. I don't know what you're talking about. Shit, girl, I don't know. It's just a phrase. I know who you are. You're one of them. What are you talking about? See, I love how you're asking what the hell she's talking about. She's like, no, I'm talking about, like, not, like, it's just a phrase. Jeez, are you dumb? Like, obviously we know it's a phrase, lady. What are you talking about? Like, how do you know who I am and what I'm doing? Like, for God's sake. Well, sakes. Patricia, you tell them Janet Easley's not coming back to their goddamn secret club. I'm over all that. What the hell are you on about? Suspicious, other than you. That's fair. Well, we got some empty rooms, but I'd notice anyone coming or going, unless they're hiding out on the fourth floor or something. Probably. Not a damn thing. Went up in flames last year. They don't let nobody up there now. Say the whole thing could collapse. Yeah, but if it collapses, wouldn't it weaken the third floor as well? Nah. But now you mention it, I did have this dream a while back. About the fourth floor. It's so freaky, I even wrote it down. The recurring kind, apparently. Been going on for days. Always this spooky cat in a mask. I don't know, some weirdo in a mask. Dreamt I saw him out in the hall, then again on the stairs to the fourth floor. That's some spooky shit, no doubt. Think it means something? I don't want to freak everyone out. I mean, I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Huh. Alright. Thanks for that, Janet. Let's go on up to the second floor and investigate. Hold on. Just want to make sure that is what we need to do. Yeah. Talk to Rose. Rose is gone, man. The hell? Oh, that's him taking the elevator. What a lazy prick, dude. Just walk. I feel like Bram's hiding some ish. Shake so bad I can't hold the pen. Thought of killing myself again. Jesus. That was 55 though. For now it's locked. Sixty-four. Thought I'd die within a year to be honest. So far so good. Where is Bram's brother in all this? I feel like I want to turn that off. It's really annoying. Is this more living ghost? It's just that it's it's poor quality because it's so old. This is really painful to listen to. The sleepwalker. Isn't that isn't that that uh, what's his name's book? Another doc. Page of three symbols. It's 
pretty large apartment, like, honestly. Okay, stop. Oh, God. Hold on, let me read that. Keep playing it. Copper wire for this. Okay. Let's go look around. There you go. That's handy. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's just that. Okay. Wow. That's the device from the first uh, first game. I feel like this is his bedroom. Just kidding, lol. This place seems bigger than uh, Rose's place, doesn't it? What's that doing in there? 57, so it's not as early. No, his bedroom must be the one that's uh, that's locked off right now. Thank you for submitting your article. Your submissions are so timely that I can nearly set my watch to them. Once a month without fail. Another Bram Hallaram tree. Treaties on some god awful subject or another. It's not the text itself. Oh, I think he's thrashing him, dude. Yeah, he keeps getting rejected. So he's not as good of a writer as he claims. So he had an attitude with us, didn't he? Nothing. All right, we got that copper wire. Let's try and solve that little puzzle. I love how everybody just has... Uh... Oh, my bad. That's closed now. I got it. I got it. I got the code. Nice. Cool. All right, we got the key, which I'm assuming leads to that other room. Right? That one wasn't too bad. Holy hell. He's so messed up. The event of a seizure. I feel like I should know this. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I don't trust, I don't trust that I'm not supposed to know this. Let's move this a little bit. Just in, cause he's probably gonna have a seizure and I'm gonna have to save his life or something. Take another one. Oh, Dan, move, move the arrow. How about that? Okay. What if, he might, he might not. He might be fine, but you never know. No vial. Comatose. It's just a... What is it? Oh God. All right. Hang on, just stop, stop, stop shouting at me. God. Let me look at my, my instructions. All right, let's get rid of this. All right, so, first thing I gotta do, ensure storm has been, okay. Three parts mito, mitochondrial culture, blue stuff. All right, let's start with that. I hope this dude doesn't die. Where are the vials at? Oh, there they are. It's so dark in here, you can't see anything. There we go, all right. 
Okay, so it does say set the switcher to three. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right. Okay, so we need... Wait, let me look at that again. Sorry, one sec. Three parts. Two. Three. Uh, one part. Which is the morphine? Two parts. How come it doesn't tell you what it is? Ensure serum has been properly mixed. Two parts immuno C. I feel like morphine would be the yellow. During active seizure. I think I kind of have to guess. I'm guessing that the yellow stuff is the morphine. All right, let's see if that's it. Okay. Let's try it now. I need to get the tent out of the way. I think I did it right. I really hope so. Now we gotta clean this up. Oh, there's another statue here. A vulture statue. Oh, check it out. I get it now. Okay, so we need this one. Based on the colors. They're on to us. Jay. Oh, snap. Well, that's important. Well, damn. Okay, well, I'm glad we discovered that bit. I just need a damn rag. Why is this so complicated? Does he not have a rag somewhere? Oh, I didn't even see that there. Check it out. All right, well, that's all the... Uh... It's so dark in this. There's no flashlight button either. Let me grab it. Shit! Who's there? I can hear you, damn it. <laughs> Last warning. Come out or I'll blow your head off. He's not very scary, There's but I'm... no one here. I could have sworn I heard something. I wonder if I'll still be able to clean up. Damn it! No, they won't let me. I was supposed to, I guarantee I you. Bram's little secret is his big brother. Colm is... Well, he's on his deathbed. Literally. There's this machine keeping him alive. Looks like Bram gave up writing to be his brother's keeper. There's more. He seems to be up to something with Janet. Guess who's next on my list? The Laughing Man's somewhere in this building. I can feel his presence. In the halls and in my dreams. Maybe the fourth floor? But he knows I'm gonna be there. I didn't get a chance to clean that up. That's so annoying. Weird. All right, well, let's put this away. All right, I found Bram's brother, Colm, in the apartment. What was wrong with him? He was hit by a truck. <laughs> what did Colm do before he fell ill? 
What the hell? That one was wrong. Look at this. Okay. I found a suspicious note to Bram in Combs' apartment. What was it? A letter from Janet. She has some sort of secret connection to Bram. It could be something simple, like, uh, they're, have, they're just sleeping together. You know what I mean? Back then, it was not really a, a... I mean, it was a big deal, right? I need to be more careful tomorrow. Word. I could have cleaned up. Alright, what's going on here? See, it's like, I don't know if these are flashbacks or what. One, one thing I was thinking, you know those those birds that I had to put on to get the note? I guarantee you he wouldn't have come home until you found that. So if I'd cleaned up the spill, I probably had forever to do my thing there. You know, to clean everything up in time, but... Uh, I, I did the ravens. I should have looked around a bit more. I, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry, but the narration or whatever the hell ever saying that is really kind of cringy. Like, oh, it's dark and spooky. So I have to stay far enough away from him, but I also got to follow him. Look, Dr. Hathaway, you're my shrink. So I don't expect you to believe that my soul separates from my body that it's off investigating while I sleep you'll say it stems from the trauma uh, from the dream apparatus maybe it does but it's real there's no other explanation today's goal find a way into Janet's apartment she and Bram are up to something I just need to find out what All right, that's current objective. All right, well, I just wanted to see if maybe there was something we could do, but... What do you creepy ghouls want? Oh, ah, Patricia, fancy seeing you here. Bram? Oh, yes, Bram. That's right. We were just down here to ask him something. Too bad he's not home. <laughs> yes, he's one of our best customers. Well, Ever since his brother Colum got too sick. These days, poor Bram handles nearly everything. Oh no, not the health drinks. We uh, assist Colum with some of his affairs, that's all. None of your business, really. Hmm. Look at that face, dude. Look how scary that is. Good God. 
Oh, he's been sick for some time, I think. When we first moved in, you'd see him hobbling around from time to time, but by gosh, I haven't seen him outside that apartment in over half a year. Well, hun, I think he's dying. No Having shit, Sherlock. Brain disease. Just terrible. Such a nice man and just so keen. Sharp one. Sharper than his brother. A doctor of some sort. Although these days he's got about as much sense as a head of lettuce. <laughs> I think he just kind of gave up. Poor thing. Lost the will to live. Now, sweetie, everyone feels down from time to time. Column's situation is a little more serious. A real disorder. Why would you say you can relate to that, to these freaks of nature? That's cringy. You don't want to tell them too much. Well, that sure does sound Jesus hard Christ! for a young woman. But I'm so glad to hear you're feeling all better. Now, if you'll excuse me, Hubie and I should fly on back to our nest. Ta-ta! See that creepy smile? Jeez, as soon as I said that, it's like I told him something he wanted to hear. And he was going to, like, rape me or something. Hit and run. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, let's go find out how to. God damn. Sorry, I can't. Oh, what are you? What are you doing in there? Sorry, dude. You again? Look, if you're thinking of moving in, I got empty room right over there. <coughs> Should we knock? All right, let's try this. This could be our apartment. It looks like it's like the same uh, same kind of layout as Rose's. Well, because it's in the exact same area, just on a different floor. These are all locked up. Maybe we can go through the window. I can, like crawl along the fire escape. Yeah, because I... It says beacons. So there's some. Well, okay. I gotta remember I've got that, you know? I've got. She's watching. Who's she? Can we go out the window? Well, shit. Okay. This... That's not it, is it? Is it that close to each other? That must be her apartment here. That's creepy. Great. Wait, what? You put blocks on the pole and you get a prize. Well, so we gotta keep an eye out for the... How... I thought the kid would look... The kid looked older, didn't he? Oh, no, he's quite little from the looks of things. Oh, 
Oh, here you go. Wait, did it say the Four Nights at Frankie's? Is that the name of the book? Okay. Look, it's got like the combo on the wall, I think. Right? The left one is all four down. And the right one. No, wait, it shows you the colors. So, green on top. Oh, I see. Like that, right? That looks that looks promising. And this one is Thanks. Oh, I need a piece first. Of course. Let's look around some more. But I'm pretty sure I got the other one. That's a little bit creepy, I'm not going to lie to you. Jesus, come play with us. I think that's the idea. What the hell? Okay, so they're out of order, hey? What's this? Something on the back? It's showing something there. Yeah, I remember that. Metal piece. See that? I haven't been able to get this to work. It's too tricky. Like, I, I feel like we need to do it, but... There's some on the other side? No, there's not. Be there all damn day, though. This must be the front door. It's actually kind of bright in here. It's not... Too shabby. I mean, who knows when she's going to be home? That's the thing. It's a risk. I'll hold the phone. Close the door, please. Nothing. It's just... Oh, whoa. Hold the phone. Dream log. Look at this. Sitting on a bench. Door was locked. Man came. He was dressed in a long range slicker. Remember that? It wasn't a man, though. That was Josie and the Pussycats. Just kidding. All right, well, it's locked. Is that what it said? Yeah, okay. Gonna need to get the key for that. All right, let's try and place this again. All right, all right. There we go. So the right one is top. The white one goes top right, so it already is there. And these ones kind of rotate half. Right? No, one more. There you go. Cool. All right. Painting room looks like. What the hell? That's me. Term your scholarship will expire. Uh oh. That's creepy. These are all of the, the place we were at.
That's a bit startling. But the thing is, Jay could be Josie, not Janet. You know what I mean? She's seen shit. Meet me at midnight on Monday, B. Maybe not, though. I guarantee you I know where the other block is. It's in that, that wall po poster that I was having trouble sorting. Alright, I'm guessing that's it. Let's go. That's crazy. I mean, it's beautiful paintwork. She's really good. Oh my god. Why you do that? She wasn't actually there, was she? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's just room for two. Let's see. Does it matter which block you place? See, we're missing one, and I guarantee you I know where it is. What's it say? It's gotta be something to help me tell. He's not there anymore. I guarantee you the last block is in that one little slot on the wall. Wait, I think I got it. Dude, I think I just got it. Dude, I did. I can't believe I got it. Holy hell. There, that's the uh that's the code. My god, I can't believe I got it. All of a sudden I just started going to town, son. There's something about this. All of his toys. So there's something in there. So you can pick up each one of these. Dragon chasing its own tail. That's actually kind of cute. What was that one? What is that? It's a little knight. That is really adorable. These are kind of creepy, aren't they? I feel like I'm missing a block, though. But now we have the, uh, now we have the, the key. So if we open up our inventory here. It's purple, green, blue, red. So we need, hold on, let's see. We're missing one, aren't we? Wait, 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 is it, was that from pop, top to bottom? Red on the bottom. And we, Okay, thanks. Equip it, for God's sakes. And that we got, and then it's it's a fish. So let's flip it. So it's a fish. There you go. Uh, blue fox. There you go. The fox. And the green. What is that? Let's inspect it. What is that? Green frog, and then a purple snake. But we don't have the green one. Where is the green one? So that's my thing. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's in his crib. Excellent. There's something to do with that chest, though, I have a feeling. Unless maybe this will open it? Let's find out. So it's a, what was it again? It was a green, uh, fr green frog. Right? 
Right there, and then it was a purple snake. Here we go. There you go, we got the bedroom key. I wonder what that was highlighting, though, in his chest. Because I looked everywhere. But this will get me into his mom's uh, bedroom. The hell is that? Someone's out here. You spineless little bitch. Don't go leaving nasty notes on my door about noise. Holy shit. If your kid can't sleep, if you weren't such a ho Whoa. Did they write that? Of course they did. It's creepy sons of bitches. Okay, I don't know that yet. Interesting. I, wait a minute, didn't I say that Bram was sleeping with her? Look for words. Okay. Because we got to open that little lockbox thing, right? this another Christmas came and went you should see him he's getting so okay banging around upstairs vocabulary is growing she was gonna write this to her mom okay so I gotta think of a word do we know her son's name Aaron. I guarantee you it's Aaron. That's the kid's name. Watch it be Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. Aaron. A-A-R-O-N, actually. Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry. That's definitely what it is. Yes. Cook County Department Corrections, hold up, has completed its review of your request for extended visiting hours for Lisa Easley. All Black Panther and other gang affiliate inmates are subject to special restriction, including limited visitations. It's a your request. Though Lisa Easley's son may be unable to visit. There were a lot of notes saying that she, he wasn't her son. Kid is her nephew. It's her sister. Her sister was involved in gang activity. Well, we're done here. Let's leave. So she's taking the responsibility of a mother. Just that was pretty good. Solid. She's here. I mean, she's supposed to be in a padded room in Wichita, but... She's here. I don't know how, but it's true. The only other person to use the dream apparatus is here. In this building, I know it's crazy, but is she the laughing man? This is all starting to make some sort of terrible, twisted sense. Where'd the big bird? Uh-oh, it's dark. Turn the light on. Lights are on, but no one's answering. All right. It's a mug. How do you light some candles? Oh, here we go. Where did I leave those matches? I don't know. I'm going to check, like, the junk drawer. She has a, Oh, I remember... She, I looked. She has a junk drawer. That's usually where people keep stuff like that. It was this one here, the lower one, right? No? Yes. See? I'm so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Ah, 
That's better. You shouldn't keep that flame underneath a bookshelf. It could possibly cause the wood to burn. Alright, okay, focus. I broke into Janet's apartment and discovered something about her I didn't expect. She's not her son's real mother. I saw that on the on the door. Yeah, because when you when you went put the goggles on, it said you're not her mother, and then like all these doubts that people have, it like reads the person's doubts, or you know, through her paintings, I learned something troubling. Her son has a disorder. Janet has seen Jose, Josie Herrera. Johnny, she copies others. This session with spiders. Where do you get that from? Is fighting with which of the neighbors? Uh, Harriet over noise. They're saying really rude things. She's still suspicious. She's up to something with Bram. Honestly, I think they're just sleeping together. Honestly. Because the rose and the chocolates from Bram, it makes sense. Oh my god. I knew there was going to be somebody in this room. I just had a feeling. Son of a bee sting. Alright, we're going to find out more answers with Janet. And Bram. Woo! <laughs> Let my people go. More of this crap. Now, where do you think you're going? It's the fourth floor. This was where Rose was going. I guarantee you we'll find Rose up here when we actually go to the fourth floor. Whoa, Jesus Christ! That's Rose. Okay, an L, dude. Out. This all looks dangerous. Stop that! So that's who that little little person is. That was Rose. I thought. Oh God. What just happened? I'm hiding in here. Holy hell! <laughs> I see the flashbacks of the freakiest part. We good? Woo! That was pretty spooky. I mean, you could tell some of this stuff's been burned, but not much of it. What the hell? There's Rose. We know where her body is. Well, well. This doesn't look good, does it? Look at her creepy face. The, the facial expressions in this game are absolutely horrifying. Horrifying. What's that over there? Thanks. The, the narrator voice, I don't fully understand who he is, but... Oh, we went backwards. Check it out. I'm surprised it's not like a closet. You know, after the fact. Nothing in here. This is apartment 403, correct? Can't go in there. Nothing this way. Maybe we try a different apartment. It's a closet. Close, please. 
You'll have to find another way out. Now this looks promising. Okay, all right. Like, was he really needed? That guy? Someone's piecing out, you can hear him. Oh, check it out! Remember how... We knocked over the plants when we came in. Wait a minute, what if we're playing as Josie or maybe as, uh... Uh, or as the Laughing Man right now? It's entirely possible. Because, like, we searched the room and we saw that. This place hasn't been ransacked yet. Oh, shit. I'm dead. I hope you guys know that. I'm dead, right? What happened? Unless I was being... Rose. That Came was it. I was Rose. I figured it out. My dreams. They're not showing no. me the future. It's the past. Maybe some kind of repressed memory? My spirit's experiences just delayed? The pieces are falling into place. The laughing man's getting ready to make another move. And if it's Josie, I'm the only one who can stop her. I have to find a way to the fourth floor. All right, that's this one. That's what's up. No, no, no. Why are you just standing there helping find him? What's going on? Hey, you. Uh, Harriet. She's losing it. Get over here and help me calm her down. After you've talked to on, talk with to, the you, way you talked to me? It's finally flown the coop and Harriet, <laughs> she ain't taking it too good. So he peaced out on her? Oh, no. Hubert, oh, dear Lord in heaven. I mean, I'd do the same if I saw you. It's Hubert. I can't find him anywhere. He never leaves without telling me. Never. And now he's gone. Gone! He hasn't said a word since I've seen him. Not missing. Gone! He's been taken. I just know it. Oh, God. What well, lady. Do? Lady, if he's, if, he's, if he's not missing, but he's gone, and he's been taken, but you don't know where he is, he's missing. Doesn't matter if he's been taken or not. He's missing. No one knows where he is. Stupid. I don't know. I mean, I took a little nap, and when I woke up, the door was wide open, and he was gone. Or he just got sick of your cheese and left. That's entirely possible. Please, Patricia, you have to help me. I don't know what I'll do if we don't find him. Well, that's a new new thing we got to do. Please help me find him. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. You guys are racist bitches, and I don't know, man. I'm not about that life. I mean, so you could say take the take the uh, take the elevator, but honestly, it takes so long. There's no point. You hear that? This is their apartment here, right? Wait a minute. There's only a there's a single bed here. I mean, this is a very 70s apartment, but it looks very brand new. You know what I mean? I wonder if this is a sign of their marriage was in a bad, bad way. Cool art, though. Yeah, it's designed the exact same way as once his names. I love that 70s fashion. Hubert's Diary, Life Day. When I was ill, I met a witch doctor. Scratching the edge of my forest outside my home. 
what he looked like. His writing's kind of... Huh. Makes you what? Well, yeah, look at it staring at you. Try getting changed with that. What's this? Let me guess. We got to figure out this puzzle piece. Nothing else? Okay, let's go inside. So no, see, there's two different bedrooms. They're not sleeping in the same bed together. Look at these notes. Formula is complicated. Procedure is exacting. Blue stuff exceptional. Limited. Must wear gloves and masks. We did not do that. The art is pretty fantastic in this place. I gotta say. This looks like it's Hubert's room. Judging from the shoes. And the clothes. This looks like These look like male clothes. I could be wrong though. It was the 70s. This bed does look bigger though. You know, it looks like a double. So maybe not. I don't, maybe they just have a guest bedroom. I don't really know. Some couples do that. But one thing, let me tell you. Uh, if you stay in separate beds, chances are you're not going to... Like, apparently ma more marriages end if you don't sleep together. More puzzle pieces. Hubert's diary. Willie tipped me off that the heat was moving. Two blows over Zhang's woman Rose told me that her building is nearly empty. I think she's maneuvering to be our dealer. Fine with me. Maybe I'll let her find us. There's something much deeper at work here, ladies and gentlemen. Another diary. Sold our entire stock of health drinks in an hour. In broad daylight, so it must be illegal. $20 a pop. We just made enough to cover rent for months. Harriet and I couldn't stop laughing on the drive home. Not only is this more profitable than dealing to kids on the corner... Whoa! So he drinks year round. So she's there's they were selling to like children. Another milestone. Harriet actually spoke today. It's been months since I heard her voice. Wait, what? So she wasn't speaking? What the hell? So Harriet doesn't speak? But she, she doesn't shut up when she's around us. Maybe it's the other way around in the house. You know what I mean? Maybe, like, homeboy's the one who's speaking a lot. They might have a supply of their drink. That's what I'm kind of looking for. All right. Once we search this room, I'm going to combine those. Must be their stash in there. Of course they're not. There's another piece. Round flask. I'm assuming we can make some of the drink. Upside is I don't think they're coming back. That's the thing. I think we can kind of fully search this place up. So let's combine some pieces. Are we still not enough? All right, press. Okay, so. What do you do? What are you doing? Okay, thank you. That looks right. Great. Plus left or right, but the keyboard doesn't allow it. That's great. Like, look how fast it goes. There you go. I have to hope I spin it right and I get lucky. Oh, I got lucky. There you go. Did I get it? What the hell? It's so obvious that's what it is. Come on. 
There you go. Now it worked. Still a few kinks in this build. You got to remember that. So we got to find something that's going to cut that rope. But it shows how we can make it, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, we got the flask. So we're... Got to find the goods. Maybe in the dining room because... Maybe a big old steak knife. Oh, check it out. There's there's lines on. There's got to be something in this room. What's that? A box cutter. There you go. That Wait, do you think that'll open it? I feel like a knife would open this better than a box cutter. Just saying, but we'll try. Nice. Aluminium foil. Okay. What's the, why was that locked up? There's a scuff mark on the floor. This this is a this is like a pull on something. Wait a minute. Yes, there is. One, two, three, four. So the green, let me see something. So the green is one, right? The yellow's two? No, white is two. Okay, um, hold on, I'm gonna take a picture of this again, hold on a second. Remember those lamps in the other room? That's what it's referring to. So we'll take one with it off, and then with it on. Alright, what's it say? Bite your tongue. I don't know what that means exactly, but... So green, it's green, white, yellow, purple. Maybe it'll let me do something with them now. Let's go see. Probably not, but it's probably just for something else. Ah, you turn them on, okay. Green, white, yellow, purple. That opens that. But these weren't... I thought I opened this before. Circular piece. I know where that is. I know where that goes. Original formula, discrete packaging. Feeling down, need to add some pep to your step? Hubert's Health Elixir. Okay, excellent. So that... So my guess is... This is my guess. Whatever's in that painting on the, in the dining room, because there was that space missing, will open up the cabinet to go to the secret formula place in the basement. Right? Like, watch. It goes right here. See this? Right in the middle. So, let's grab this. Now it's a puzzle. Right? So we gotta spin it. I don't know why I did that. Got it. Oh, I got it. Nice. Woo. That took some time. I'm working on the pantry today. I need three specific items to finish it. Can you pick these up for me? I knew it. I absolutely knew it. It's a special order. So you got to go can of tomatoes, fancy o cereal, and then coffee. I guarantee you that's what you do. That makes so much sense. It's clever. But damn. Okay, so... Let me read that again. It was tomatoes, fancios, then coffee, right? But I just want to make sure. Documents. How many do we have in this apartment? We're missing one. Shopping list. Tomatoes, fancios, coffee. Cool. Tomatoes. 
Fancy O's. Coffee. Nice. Well, damn. Flask straw. So we gotta, like, rebuild this thing, right? She helped me figure it out. I'm glad she put it on. Or they put it on. So the beaker's there. So we're gonna need... Is that all of it? Let's see if there's anything else we can grab. Supposed to be like... There you go. Flask. E-flask. There you go. This is the last one. So this is how you do it, right? I feel like I should take some pictures of these, just in case. You never know, right guys? That's one. And then two. That's that. Okay, cool. We got that. I'm gonna keep that open. So first thing we're gonna do is set where these need to go. So essentially, first thing we gotta do is get that beaker flask or whatever, this thing. The round flask. And put it here. Okay. Then it's the tall purple flask. Okay, and then the last one is the, uh, whatchamacallit beaker. This one, the E, or the E flask. There we go. Okay. Now we've got colors. Okay, let's read what it wants us to do. Bake cannabis powder for one hour. Yellow liquid. Blue liquid. Do we not know what anything else is? That's the serum there. Last goes here. I should like this with the whole, when the whole thing is set up correctly. Got it. Okay. So, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. Just look at the image. So you got to put the the blue in first. And this. And then you add yellow to make it green. Right? No, what are you doing? Put it back. Well, let me do that. Okay, so let's try then this. Oh, I get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yellow goes there, and then see that it's a green. So that's just the color of the vase on top. See, that was what th was throwing me off. So then we take the. Oh, wait, we need more, don't we? Green liquid. Oh, there was a green liquid. Oh, I thought we had to, like, mix stuff. I'm overthinking it. Wait, do we have anything? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, there's tubing. My bad. So this. My bad. Sorry about that. Uh, the squirrely tubing. Come on, give me the squirrely tubing. There we go. That's what I forgot to do. And then the straight, regular flask straw goes there. Now let's light it. Okay, cool. Forgot I picked those up. It made a blue serum. All right, now what do we do with it? I'm gonna leave. I think we got what we needed, what we came for. Let's just check the objectives. Oh my god! Fucking scary bitch. Did you find anything? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Nothing! Nothing! You know, just living our lives. Hubert couldn't hurt a fly. He just works in his lab and does the crossword. We never bother anyone. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why are you just standing there? Help me find him. Please help me find him. I'm leaving. Oh, the serum. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking about doing. Where did you get that? I made it. No. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. He'll kill me.
It's medicine, that's all. You know, medicine. Hubert makes it for Column downstairs. He's just a chemist, you know? He helps people. Clearly not. I don't... Just some smack, that's all. For the pain, you know. And some blue stuff Column makes. I don't know what it is. Another service admin provides. And Rose is your dealer. She's got connections, you know, for stuff. I, I don't get involved. You could have asked her before, before the tall man took her. She should have known better. You don't cross Column Halloran. No, you do not. The tall man comes. I've seen him. And that terrible laugh. There's this man, tall, you know, like really tall with a mask. I've seen him hiding out up on the fourth floor. Anyone crosses column, he comes after them. I don't know. Yes, maybe. First Rose and now, now, now Hubie. How could this happen? It's, it's, Oh man, has to be. Oh dear, dear God. Maybe he's, he could be hiding. The basement, oh, that's the plan. If trouble comes knocking, head for the basement. He's got supplies down there, you know, for a getaway. Here, the elevator key, take it. Oh, please God, tell me he's down there. Please let him be all right. Oh, thank you, Patricia. You're an angel. All right, let's head to the basement now. Making medicine for Column. Elixir is a cover for drugs taken by the tall man. Supply drugs to Hubert for his elixir. There's still a lot we got to do today. Okay, we need the key. No, damn it. And we cranked this a few times. So that's... Remember how the basement was all shut down? Is it still going to go floor by floor? So these guys are getting mixed up in some drug dealing shenanigans. So this laughing man guy could have been... Maybe what I was hearing was in the basement. Remember that flashback we had? Maybe all that was in the basement. Lovely. It's all dark. That's where the washing machines are. Whoa, Jesus Christ. God damn it. Don't do that, please. That was rude as hell. We're getting somewhere, though. Oh, another book. Stout. Instead of shout. Stout it, stout it, stout it all loud. That's what I would do. That would be my advertising campaign. I hear chattering. Black Panther deaths justified. All right, let's go back. I'm worrying that... Do you think... No, the Laughing Man would be on the fourth floor, wouldn't he? It's in here. Can't go in there. Maybe later we can. God, this basement is actually pretty, pretty spooky. I'll leave him to his vices. We've heard that guy crying before. So I'm going to cut through this wire. All right, hang on. We got to find some bolt or wire cutters or something. Dude, literally, it's a furnace room. Bruh. What's this? Fourth floor padlock key. Look at that. We've explored the basement.
So does this wait? Can we? Does this mean we have to go up to the fourth floor first to find bolt cutters of some sort? I'm thinking so. We might have to go back up to the fourth floor to see what's up. I'm thinking so. Let's go to the fourth floor right now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, who called it? Damn it. Okay, think this through. Have a big secret. They're siblings, ew. Looks like Hubert and Harry had found a way to sell drugs as health drinks. I think they're trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> Hubert was making something else in his lab, something other than health drinks. An acidic solvent. Psychoactive drugs for Harriet, medicine for Colm. Colm employed Hubert to synthesize medicine for his condition. Hubert needed access to illicit substances, both for his health drinks and Colm's medicine. Who got him the goods? Rose. Looks like Rose was his dealer. That explains the finances, at least. The connections are starting to become clear. Harriet told me that Hubert was taken away by someone. Who does she think it is? A dealer who works for Rose. Spy for Edmund. Edmund. Uh, assassin who works for Colm. Thug. I'm going to say a dealer. No. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not it. Maybe? No. Assassin who works for Colm. It has to be. Yeah. Harriet is convinced that Hubert was taken away by a tall man. A hitman who apparently works for Colm. <laughs> Harriet's story is crazy, but what if the tall man she mentioned is the killer I've been chasing? I need to find a way out of here. All right, well, let's see. I don't know why I did that. See how it's all purple here now? What's going on up here? That's right. Leave her a hint. Oh, someone was here. We're playing as dude. What else? Oh well, my god. Look at that. That's a bit creepy. Oh, we gotta take the mask now. Watch. <sighs> that feels better now. Hmm. She kept nearly everything. Now I'm ready. Are we done here? So when I so we're playing as Josie, I'm thinking. Look at the trench coat we're wearing, guys. Whoa. Hank, uh, uh, Dr. Hathaway, uh, I screwed up, and I'm in trouble. I'm locked in the basement, and it's nighttime, and the moon is full. My subconscious is spilling over, and I'm afraid of what I'll see. What would you do? You tell me not to panic. Just breathe. I can do that. Slowly. One at a time. Just breathe. And I'll get out of here and finish this. Focus. Focus. Bram and Janet are meeting tonight. Rose is missing, and now Hubert, too. Everything leads to the fourth floor. Dr. Hathaway, I'm sorry I didn't get to tell you in person, but if you're listening, thank you. Thanks for everything. All right. All right, back in the basement. Got to get out of here, man. I'm wondering if there's going to be new stuff that was, like, locked off before that we can actually get to. For example, are we going to get another jump scare with this? The evil underwear. Honestly, you never know. That's why I'm checking in here. Wait a minute. Wasn't, wasn't there, a, like, a, something there? Like, a, like, wasn't there another washer dryer here? Apparently not. I 
I know I've been over here. I just want to check it. Because we got to find those wire cutters, right? To cut open that frame or whatever. This is where we... This is where we found that one medallion or whatever, right? Whatever it was. Wait, what? It's working again? That was weird. So we're gonna need something. So wait, what's my current objectives? Let me see this. Oh, I, I didn't think to do that. Hold on. I can't right click right now. So it's skipping the first floor. I knew it! Who called that? I mean, that one was kind of obvious. And back then, that was like kind of frowned upon, right? Because people are racist and everything, so... I guess that creepy smile does it for her, yeah? Oh, we're on the fourth floor now. Hold on. I'm trying to look at this. Talk to Rose, investigate the fourth floor, and find Hubert. We still don't know where Hubert is. Okay, you know what? Don't be like that. Oh, so I don't have to manually do just have to select it. Well, this is where we know the... We might be able to find Rose here, guys. That might check that one off the list. The sharp piano strokes. Causing fear and horror and terror. I guess those are all the same things, aren't they? I don't trust anything that happens here today. Damn it. I shouldn't have done that. 402, close, please. Thank you. Can I get through here? Not yet. So that is where we gotta go. So it's kind of linear, this. How was that? Really, what they're doing right now is loud noises. Loud, jarring noises. See, I recognize this. We've been here before. So if that's the case... Yeah, we were, we were here in the future, the past or whatever. And we weren't able to go through there yet. And that's the, the that's oh, this looks promising. Do you remember that? All right, let's just proceed to where we know we gotta go. This is where we hid, right? And this is the bit that where we found Rose's body. But it trend it like this part we didn't see it like brought us somewhere. Whoa! Hold up! Oh my God! I think that's Hubert. Well, we found Rose. Holy hell, bro! God, she looks. I don't know if that's. And then the other room is gonna bring us to Hubert. Oh my god! Oh my shit. I don't know where to go! I'm a dead man. Did I die? No, wait, hold up. Please don't find me here. Ah! <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> That's the first time we actually got a legit decent decent look at his ass. I'm going this way, I think. Wait, did I fight? Did I escape in time? No, I'm dead. Wait, did he not see me? He's looking right at me. <laughs> he didn't see <laughs> How did he miss me? I don't know. But we made it back. Somehow. Oh my gosh. That was funny. The thing is, if you hire a hitman, why do you hire, like, a lunatic like that? Do you know what I mean? Like, usually you do someone who's very professional. It's just like, like, you won't know he was there kind of thing. You don't... I don't know. Look at these bones. It's another one of these statues, dude. Is that our third one? What now? There we go. Alright, we're back here. So did we actually see him? But he lost us. Well, Hubert's dead as hell. Keys. Yeah, but how do you confront the laughing man? Oh, we have to figure it out. Or do we have to figure it out? Well, it's apparently not Hubert. And it's not Rose. Things aren't loading very well. Sorry, I just want to make sure I don't miss out on anything. I know I got to go that way. Hold on a second. Can I go in here yet? No. Oh, I thought I saw him over there. It was a bit spooky. It's not the caretaker, is it? I mean, I, there's the master key, so... Thanks. We're going down. Watch somebody be on the elevator. Never mind. Okay, we're going down. I don't know what's gonna happen here, y'all. Is that it? Like, hold on. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to pick a killer? Wait, what the hell? Who's in 201 again? Oh, this is Bram's apartment, right? gone you don't think he's the laughing man do you there's the bolt cutters now we can open that thing we know who the laughing man is it's column 
I'm gonna go clean that up. <laughs> wow, I never even thought of that. So he was under a guise. Honestly, his face made so much sense. Wow, dude. Hold on, I just want to go clean that up for Bram. It w Maybe I can still cover my tracks. You think it'll let me? Let's go find out if we can clean it up. <laughs> Post event. Dude, this is it. This is this is it. Like Wait, use them. There you go. Done. <laughs> Even though they've probably seen it in that time frame. But what about the, the shapes? I don't know what the shapes have to do with anything. I mean, it makes so much sense now. So my question, did Bram actually hire the guy? Hold on a minute. I'm going to go look in the office one more time before we go to the basement again. Oh, we got it, dude. I just started guessing. Last note, balance sheet, Bram, Hubert, Rose, Janet. Janet's not paying rent. He's tracking like all their... Wow. See, oh, okay, so essentially you just had to cycle through the, the shapes. That's what I thought. I was looking at the shapes and I was just like... Well, if that's number two, how many other combinations are there? So I just kept trying them until I got the code. Well, there we go. That means... Well, that makes me feel better because now, if we look at the docs, we have all the docs. We found them all. Minus, of course, the book series. But there could be two... There could be the last books in the basement past the bolt cutter section. Let's go check. Because I think this might be towards the end of it, guys. Not a whole lot left. We'll see what happens now that we got those bolt cutters. But that, I don't, that's crazy. So is he even sick then? So really, I could have averted a crisis if I had overdosed him. I wonder if that's possible. You know what I mean? Like an alternate ending? Like accidentally killing him? That'd be something. Done. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled for a book. Because we've been here. Ah, see, this is where the stairs goes. That's why it wouldn't let you do it. Now, there's this power switch. I don't know if it has anything to do with it. I remember seeing it, but apparently not. Gotta follow this guy. Like, he knows. See, I'm not even in that vision anymore. I think things are about to get really crazy here, ladies and gentlemen. I was kind of scared that there was going to be someone behind it.
It's like, what if they're all a part of some crazy ritual? Dude, I'd be very scared about this. Whoa! So am I dead? I'm sorry you had to see that, Patricia. My brother, he just never knew when to quit. It was infuriating, really. Every little thing. He had to win. Even when he got sick, he wouldn't let it beat him. But it did. He only listens, listen to me now. And let me tell you, the irony of using Column to crush those that denied me my distinction has been so, so satisfying. Now then, time to tidy up. I've been careful. Everyone involved in keeping him alive has been given a Permanent smile. Column's dead. The circle is complete. Nearly. Just one last loose end. Hmm? I don't know how you found me, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting out of this hellhole and moving on with my life. Don't worry. I'm a good shot. This won't hurt a bit. Damn it! <laughs> Josie! Wait, what happened? Who died? Dear Dr. Hathaway, guess who just wrapped her first investigative report in years? Bram is dead. Colum is too. And even though Josie escaped, I'm kind of glad. I just hope she finds what she's looking for. Anyway, the Tribune's on board to publish it. Now, I just need a headline. Anyway, I couldn't have done this without you. Talking to you like this, it felt intimate. I'll still check in from time to time, if that's okay, when I've got something on my mind. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll even work up the nerve to send you these tapes. Huh. Found the secret message in the mirror. Told the truth to Edmund. Did translated Rose's document from Chinese. Convinced Edmund to leave his office to the first try. I didn't though, did I? Cleaned up a spill in Column's room. So I got found the wind-up night toy. Named Hubert's drug supplier correctly. Number of incorrect quiz and oh the quiz, that's right. Puzzles quarterly magazine solved. Josie's cassettes found six of seven. So I, I only missed one. Robot Invader Press Essential Classics, five of seven. Heather O's book, seven of nine. Documents found, all of them. So that's good. I'd say I got a good chunk of them. Which goes to the credits, I'm guessing. Well, there's that. We know who the laughing man was. This guy right here. Uh, definitely wasn't as long as they made it out to be. They told me it was like 15 hours. It, it wasn't that long. I don't even know how long it took me, but I understand like to do you have to redo it uh, to get all, all the goodies. But either way, I'd say we we got a chunk of it. I'm pretty stoked about that. I, I love how that like covering your tracks thing counted later, even though it I didn't technically do it properly, which is really funny. But oh, well, it is what it is. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys very, very much for watching this let's play of dead secret circle hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit that like button let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't yet be sure to like follow my pages on social media facebook.com slash danky8000 for live streams and other content twitter danky8000 instagram danky8k snapchat danky8000 if you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie there's a link in the description below and if you want to save 10 percent off your next dx racer link in the description use the promo code danky8000 at checkout all right guys thank you so much again take it easy have a wonderful day i'll be seeing you soon for more content but until then let's hand things over to nox hill have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If 
if you feel trouble while and wild on these violent and hit you 8,000 wait a minute hold that style style dan goddamn billy jack we still riding tires flat i hear them sirens see shots flying so we driving by your back if they ain't vibing lie with that got me dressed up in all black what up hood up and i see them haters try to run with us they don't need inhalers gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players grab your respirators night in bed get life savored mass on for the shooters move like trash to bed intruder got that glock and got them woofers just press play i'll keep it moving who is knock till you damn fools keep it fresh like canned food there ain't nothing we can't do so tune into that damn kill yeah it was never ever a game